Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now the beginning of February of 2022 and as we get closer and closer to the release of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show, a lot of Star Wars fans are actually really waiting for a lot of other Star Wars shows like The Bad Batch Season 2, Star Wars Andor, and yes, even The Mandalorian Season 3 and more to come as well in the next couple of years. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at Mike Zero One. If you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there, I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and really make sure to interact with you guys further. So, what's even all the more exciting right now is that we have George, John, and Dave really engaging in a lot of new Star Wars TV shows, a lot of new Star Wars lore be it books, novels, comics, and or video games. They have a lot of creative power over that. I don't know if you guys actually knew about this. A couple of months ago, Bob Chapek gave both Favreau and Filoni promotions over at Lucasfilm, allowing them to actually take more creative power over even shows that they don't even have, you know, pretty much marked down as being a writer or a director at that. So that's exactly why they kind of called some of the shots on the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series at the tail end of filming, you know, earlier a couple months ago. Now, with that being said, one thing that a lot of fans have been very happy about, of course, with the Book of Boba Fett Chapter 6 was the addition of the return of not just Luke Skywalker, not just Ahsoka Tano, but the return of Grogu as well, showing us his Jedi training on the mysterious world and location of Luke's Jedi Temple. Now, on top of all of this, one thing is for certain is that John, George, and Dave are taking a lot of aspects from Star Wars Legends, and they will be incorporating that into not just Mando Season 3 and Ahsoka, but also for Mando Season 4, which brings us to this very interesting subject today. Now, with that being said, what's really intriguing is that with both Favreau and Filoni getting ready to begin working on a host of new Star Wars shows that will be unveiled at Star Wars Celebration, it's described that they are also making many key changes to Luke Skywalker as a character. One key plan by Favreau and Filoni is to create a big retcon for Luke Skywalker in the Mandoverse. Now further, it's noted, however, that what they actually have planned for The Mandalorian Season 4 is set to make fans very happy about the future of Star Wars. One big scene that is already being pre-planned for Mando Season 4 in 2023 is set to involve both Luke Skywalker and Ben Solo training in front of the Jedi Temple that is under construction. Now further, it's noted that both Favreau and Filoni plan on showing the fans the progress of his temple getting built year by year, and that they are planning to give Luke a total of three temples across the entire galaxy. So, let me just stop right here for one second. Now, they are planning to give Luke a total of three different temples, one of which is going to be on Yavin 4, very much like how it was done in Legends, the other of which is going to be the one that we saw in The Last Jedi, that is the exact one that we see in The Mandalorian, uh, or should I say in The Book of Boba Fett, that feels like The Mandalorian, obviously, but it's a very interesting way to go about doing things by giving Luke three separate temples, and I'm not quite sure if that really makes a lot of sense. I mean, sure, there's existing temples across the galaxy, and Luke could very well claim them as his, but I digress. What's really interesting about all of this further is that, of course, given that yes, one of which is from the Last Jedi flashback scene that was also seen in the Book of Boba, the scene between both Ben Solo and Luke Skywalker is described to be a very touching one, where Ben Solo opens up to Luke about feeling neglected by his parents. Luke is set to become this wise teacher to his nephew, making him understand that both Han and Leia are in a very tough business that requires a lot of time. Now, both Ben Solo and Luke are set to build a lightsaber in this scene. This lightsaber is described to eventually belong to Ben Solo. Favreau and Filoni are going to unveil the true origin behind Ben Solo's kyber crystal in live-action form, as well as how the saber hilt dates back many years ago. Now, with Mando Season 4, they are also planning to bring back some of the Force Ghosts to Luke's, to Luke Skywalker's temple, such as Anakin, Obi-Wan, and even Yoda in the mix, as well to give fans a great callback to Return of the Jedi. Of course, watching over Luke and Ben Solo train. So, when you look at everything related to, you know, the Return of the Jedi ending scene of how they're looking over the celebration of Endor between... Luke, Lando, Han, Leia, R2-D2, everybody else involved. 
it was a beautiful moment and they want to create something kind of like that where the force ghosts of the past are watching over Luke Skywalker passing on what he has learned especially to another Skywalker and that to me is very much like poetry it rhymes as George Lucas said you know kind of passing things down showing the force ghosts in their true fashion very much like Return of the Jedi watching over both Luke and Ben from afar of course now the thing that's really going to interest a lot of fans out there is, of course, what actually begins to progress to this moment. So, on top of all of that, all right, one of the plans by Favreau is to have Luke Skywalker see the Force Ghosts from afar, while Ben Solo is still unable to see them or communicate with them just yet. The entire scene is already storyboarded and ready to be finalized for the script, which they will begin filming sometime in early 2023. Now, to get it released by holiday season of that year, they have to get it done as soon as possible. Additionally, John and Dave will be including some of Luke's other Jedi students, as, of course, Season 4 will take place some years after M Mando Season 3. These will be characters such as Kyle Katarn and even some newcomers that have yet to have been introduced in either canon or Legends. It's something that Favreau and Filoni want to do and make it true to the audience. Kyle Katarn is described to be Luke Skywalker's best student, and of course, is going to be the one that joined Luke's Jedi Academy before Ben Solo did. John and Dave are set to reveal this character as a cameo in the Ahsoka Tano series before they move over to Mando Season 4 in 2023, where he will get more recognition. Now, the scene is described to also involve Ben Solo levitating over a large boulder in front of Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple as well. So, the thing that I like so much about John and Dave is that they really know what they're doing when it comes to really kind of just focusing on what's the best scenario to really make Luke Skywalker the wise Jedi Master that he must become in the Star Wars canon. And what's a better way to do this than including Ben Solo in Mando Season 4? They are going to get to that. They're taking their time building up towards Luke Skywalker's nephew coming into the equation. And both John and Dave want to do this. Now, I understand some fans out there are not going to like this. Some fans are not going to like the fact that they are making connections to the sequel trilogy and they're not just going to throw in Jason Solo or something crazy like that. Well, the thing is, Ben Solo is a established character. They want to take advantage of that. They want to do their own version of Ben Solo growing up throughout the years and building towards that moment of, you know, truth where Ben Solo becomes corrupted and loses his mind and burns down the Jedi Temple. You know, of course they're going to make some kind of connections to that. So that's exactly why we are finally going to be getting the true training sessions between both Luke and Ben. Something that Ryan Johnson failed to do in the flashbacks of Episode 8. So, like I say, guys, I think that John and Dave, they have their heads on straight. I think that Mandalorian is superior to the Book of Boba Fett. That's just my opinion, sure. We had very good scenes involving Luke, very good scenes involving Mando and the Armorer, but those were not essentially a story for Boba Fett. Those were really elements meant for the Mandalorian, right? And I think that it's going to be a very interesting thing to see what season three and four is going to be like in comparison to the book of Boba Fett. So like I said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.